everyone and welcome back to another youtube video it's your girl tyra d and i'm back with another video if you like my videos before this please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to your girl i appreciate all your support and thank you for tuning in today we're going to be doing a nighttime routine which includes how my day goes and then our nighttime routine as in taking a shower going to bed things like that so i just wanted to show you guys how my day went a little bit the first thing i did i got my nails done then i went hygiene shopping and i picked up a really good amount of goodies like this was an unexpected shopping and i just decided like hey i should pick up some stuff i actually went in just for this product that i'm about to show you guys now the vagisil i just went to restock on that and then i saw a whole bunch of other products that i needed to catch up on so i was like let me pick up this honey pot let me get the vagisil let me get body wash so i really just stocked up on a whole bunch of things and i'm just going to be showing you guys here all the things i got i'm not really going to explain everything because everything is kind of self-explanatory i'm just gonna let the music play but y'all thank you so much for supporting my channel we are almost at 1500 subscribers i love you guys so much and thank you for tuning in every week i've been trying to be so consistent and i'm even thinking about posting twice a week let me know down in the comments below what day you think should be my second day of posting i was thinking maybe thursday so that will be tuesdays and thursdays but i'm not really sure let me know what you guys think and what you guys would like to see from me and at what time and i'll definitely make it happen but yeah so just picking up a few things and then i actually inserted a clip of you know me explaining stuff so that's gonna show up soon and I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll talk to you guys when we get to the shower. When I tell you I was so excited when I saw this, you guys know I've been going on a rave about coconut, oat milk, rice milk, anything of that sort type of scents. And when I found this, ooh, girl, I was so happy I grabbed like three of them. This was also a new product that I added to my shower routine. It's a scrub. For shaving you guys know how i always exfoliate using my red exfoliator well now i have one specifically as a pre-shave and i'm so happy it, it smells good i love it and i decided to try something new so i got the tree hut oil the shaving oil i love my eels don't get me wrong but i just you know i like trying new things different things so i got this just to see what it was like and yeah I also went ahead and picked up the Sally Hansen wax kit just because my wax girl Kia, she's about to get married so she's not really taking clients anymore and so that's over and I need to do my own wax unfortunately so I thought maybe I need something a little stronger than what I've been already using.
hey guys so quick little update about what's happening right now so as you guys saw got my nails done hmm. super cute I did them black because I have a couple of events coming up. I have my brother's graduation coming up, which I'm also going to be doing a separate Get Ready With Me video for that because I'm going to be looking so cute. So I'm going to do a whole video dedicated to that. And that video will include my makeup routine because I'm going to beat this face, especially because these eyebrows, whoa, they look crazy. I haven't seen Kia since my last appointment and I didn't do my eyebrows then, so my eyebrows look insane. But it's all right, it's whatever. I'm going to, you know, make do when I do my makeup. But right now it is saturday uh the saturday is before mother's day so it is uh the 13th and that's why you see all these balloons behind me because i needed to buy my mom some balloons i also got my partner's mom some balloons and some gifts like a you know cute little self-care because that's my thing self-care gifts um i got my mom what she wanted for uh, mother's day I was about to say Valentine's Day. I got my mom what she wanted for Mother's Day, which was some headphones. Um, and yeah, right now I'm waiting for my sushi. I just shopping for myself, the moms. My nails are done. And then what's next? Then we're going to the Westchester Mall because I need to uh, get my pants hemmed. I bought a new set from Lululemon and it's so, so so cute i forgot what the name of the color is called um but it's really cute i can't wait to wear it and um lululemon offers free hemming for the pants because i bought the 32 inch and they're a bit long but then the 28 inch would have been too short if that makes sense so i just want to hem the bottoms down and they do offer that service for free so if you guys buy your pants from lululemon and you feel like oh it's a little too long whatever the case is they do it for free so i'm gonna go over there now and i'm just gonna give them my other pants so they could kind of match it and so i don't have to put them on and try them on and do all that they could kind of measure it off my body and then after that finally going home and we're gonna get right into this nighttime routine as you guys see i took you guys along for my whole entire day and then it's going to be night so you know nighttime routine we're gonna get ready for bed together you know get all judged up whatever and go to sleep because i'm tired today i woke up a little late because my first appointment was at two o'clock so i got to sleep in for the first time in so long but i'm still tired so i can't wait to get this food do what i need to do at the mall go home and take that nice shower and we got some new goodies we got some new goodies that i'm gonna use tonight for shaving and stuff like that and i'm so excited like that eels pre-shaving cream i think it was a scrub fire because i usually just exfoliate my skin with you know whatever i'm using for the rest of my body but if i can have one dedicated for my legs for my legs for shaving baby and i'm gonna use it on my arms too because you know i've been shaving my arms lately so excited for that and yeah so let me stop talking i've been talking for a long time and let's get to it i'm about to go pick up my food they're making it right now so i'll see you guys in a bit do your thing do your thing do your thing do your thing can you can you do something for me can you hit a little for me can you do something for me drop some bars to my pussy ass for me can you do something for me can you can you can you can you can you can you do your thing do your thing do your thing do your thing y'all so my productive day is now over and it's time to take a shower and get straight to bed so you already know first things first we have to set the vibe so i'm going in with my ancient cosmetics candle and this is in a eucalyptus scent which is so good like it, it really clears out your nose and things like that which i really needed like needed it so bad before getting into the shower, I'm just going to exfoliate my skin using this dry brush. I always do this step every time before I take a shower, just to exfoliate my skin and get off any dirt that might be lingering in my skin, especially after this long day. Before touching any part of my body, I need to make sure my hands are clean first. So I'm just going to go ahead and wash my hands using this antibacterial soap. For 
floral hygiene i'm going in my usual the arm and hammer baking soda toothpaste i'm not going to go into detail about this product because i talk about it every single time but just know i love it and it gets the job done every single time for skincare, I'm going in with my usual Curology. This product is so soft to the skin and yet gets deep into the skin to cleanse it so well. But unfortunately, as you can see, I'm running out. So I need to open up a new bottle. But I didn't really get to wash my face as in-depth as I normally do. So I went ahead and used another cleanser as well, which is one I use very often, which is the Kale and Green Tea Vitamins Face Wash. And I went really deep into my face and made sure my face was super, super clean. As a base cleanser, I'm going in with my fave, the Dr. Broner's Peppermint Castile Soap. Y'all already know how I feel about the peppermint scent. Y'all already know how I feel about the soap. If you watch my previous videos, you already know the vibes. But I haven't used the soap in a minute. I've been so hooked on my oat milk scents and things like that that I have not used this. So I was so happy to get back to this product. As you guys can see, it lathers up so well. And it has a very strong scent. So I feel super clean after using it. And on top of that, a little tingly and spicy so that's why i really love using this as a base cleanser because i feel like it gets off all the original dirt or you know any scents on my body it gets it all off before going in with my scents of the day it's just a really good cleanser and it gets the job done i love it so so much the only thing i will say is that it's very drying to the skin so it's good to use it as a base cleanser and then go in with something else to bring moisture back to your skin For vaginal care, I'm going in with the Honey Pop Foaming Wash. This is in the scent Normal. It's not the cucumber aloe like I usually use. I decided to try something different just because I always use that other one. You know, trying new things is always good. As always, I'm going to exfoliate my girl downstairs as well as my backside using exfoliating gloves as well as the Healthy Detox by Vagisil. This Healthy Detox, I use it all the time as you guys know. It really does get the job done and it's also very soft for those delicate areas and gets all the bacteria out of those crevices, if you know what I mean. Like, you've got to get in there, you got to scrub, okay? Scrub it all out. As a second cleanser, I'm going in with the Dove Antibacterial Body Wash. I really love this product, one, because it's an antibacterial soap, and two, because it has such a clean scent to it, and three, because it brings the moisture back to my skin. Using this product alongside the Dr. Broner's is perfect because they both attack bacteria that might be lingering on my body. But this Dove brings the moisture back to my skin because as I said before, the Dr. Broner's is very stripping. Like it will leave you feeling ashy. But going in with the Dove brings all the moisture right back. And then using the African Net exfoliates your skin. It's all, you know, all a process. But at the end of it, we're looking and smelling and feeling good.
exfoliate my body i'm going in with the dr teal's shea sugar scrub and the scent melatonin y'all this is a nighttime routine and when i tell you i use melatonin on like everything i use it on anything i even take the gummies i put the spray on my bed you guys are gonna see more products that i use that have melatonin in it as the video continues but y'all this really puts me right to bed because some nights i really have trouble getting to bed and this gets the job done when i tell you when i was scrubbing my skin right now like in these clips i was getting so sleepy already there's something about the way it smells and the way this was scrubbing my skin like the texture of the scrub everything if you have any difficulty getting to bed use these products i'm going to be showing you in the next couple clips they will get the job done they'll have you clean smelling good and ready for bed for our scent of the night, I'm going in with the Dr. Teal's body oil. This is a melatonin scented body oil. It also is a bath oil, so you are meant to put it into your bath or use it on your body I guess outside of the shower but I decided to use it inside the shower just because I really wanted the scent to stick onto my skin because I find that when I use it when my skin is already dry it it, it kind of goes away the scent so when my skin is wet it's kind of like air drying it into my skin if that makes sense I don't know if that makes sense I, it makes sense to me and it actually did work and I actually prefer doing this because it locked in the moisture the entire night. Like up until the next day, my skin was still soft, still moisturized. I really like using this inside the shower. For our after shower care, we're going straight into lip care using Vaseline per usual to moisturize my lips. For skincare, I'm going in with my 4-in-1 Face Oil by Ancient Cosmetics. You guys always see me use this product and it's because I genuinely love this product. It's very lightweight to the skin, it doesn't leave me too oily, and it hasn't caused any acne on my face, so I can appreciate that. You say you got a man. To moisturize my girl downstairs, I'm going in with the Ingrown Hair Oil by Bush Balm. To moisturize my body, I'm going in with the Dr. Teal's Sleep Lotion. Y'all, remember I already used the oil in the shower so I'm not ashy or anything, but this lotion is not really that moisturizing so it's perfect the way I paired it together because now I'm just adding the scent on a little bit more and it's going to be perfect for when I go to bed. For hair care, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my hair for bedtime. Sometimes I keep it up in this bun, but most times my head hurts because I have this bun on my head all day. So the middle of my head just gets a little bit sore. So I like to take my locks down, kind of massage my head, let the locks loose and just shake my head out so that I could feel less tension on my head, you know? And then I go in with my bonnet. This bonnet is from Mel Sleepwear. This is the Wrap Me Up Bonnet. And I got to customize to put my name on the back. Yeah. Isn't she so cute? So fire. I'm going to leave the link down below for where I bought this bonnet. So you guys can go purchase your own and also customize them because why not? But anyways, this wrap me up bonnet is perfect because I honestly have difficulty keeping my bonnet on at night. But because this ties around the end with these long straps, I can tie it up like it was a do-rag and it stays on all night. My bonnet does not move, it's very lightweight, it's breathable, and on top of that, it's silk on the inside, so it protects my hair. So shout out to Mel Sleepwear because this bonnet is definitely where it's at and make sure you guys go shop with her to buy your bonnet. You see how cute this bonnet is? Like, hello, and it's very spacious because even when I have my long locks, they still fit inside of this with no issues. So shout out to Mel Sleepwear, get you a bonnet. Ew, so cute. But anyways, y'all, I'll see y'all in my next video. I love you guys so much, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.